This is the fourth generation Octavia, Škoda's full-sized executive saloon that rivals a Hyundai Elantra and the erstwhile Toyota Corolla. The new Octavia has undergone a significant change. It is wider, substantially longer, but marginally shorter. Despite the increase in length, turning circle remains the same due to the fact that wheelbase has reduced. The new Octavia suspension is suppler and leans more on the softer side than it ever has, which is something the Indians might appreciate given the state of our roads, but purists may expect more finesse with handling quick steering inputs. There are two trims on offer, style and the fabled Lauren and Clement. It is mated to a 7-speed DSG, arguably the best dual-clutch transmission in India, and now it even features shift-by-wire tech. Standard wheel size has moved from 16 to 17 inches. In the spec, we expect it to return around 11 to 12 kilometers per liter in our real-world driving conditions. And despite the new coupe-like roof, boot space is now at a massive 600 liters. Unlike its predecessor, the new Octavia is only available with a petrol unit, which is the very capable 2-litre TSI engine. This new powertrain makes the Octavia an effortless sprinter. A nice engine mode adds to the thrill of acceleration. The Octavia's interior has gone a notch higher. An airy cabin is complemented with loads of tech. Plus, they have used elegant materials for a near luxury car experience. The suede leather-like seat fabric, dual-zone climate control, gesture control infotainment screen, and even a wireless charging phone box too. By the way, no sunroof. Bracing competition from cars in its new price range, Škoda has tried to make the Octavia appeal to a wider, more affluent audience. The car's driver-centric character changes a bit. It is more opulent and almost feels like a smaller superb with its limo-like experience. We can argue about that, but tough to ignore given the amount of quick, stylish and extra-large sedan that is now on the table.